into the double team. I ain't never seen somebody dribble right into the double team. That's garbage. So kids, what you supposed to do? You supposed to catch it, back it out, back. Don't dribble into the double team, Ellis. We done with the nineties. Look at this ball. They garbage out here. Look at look at Nate McMillan shoot this broke ass. That's garbage. Girl Wilkins out here with a perm. Dominique Wilkins' brother. We done with the 90s. He getting back on D, hustling hard. He got perm juice sweating all in his eyes. He getting ready to throw it off the backboard. That's perm juice in his eyes. Just go up on that side, Mike. He gonna throw some wild garbage up. Somebody explain to me, why couldn't he just go straight up? That's garbage. As of recently, social media has seen an explosion of clips showcasing some of the worst plays and defensive mishaps from the 80s and 90s era of NBA basketball. It seems like people are finally recognizing these moments even though they've been available on platforms like YouTube for the past two decades. While it's not surprising to me, this resurgence has reignited this ongoing debate over whether 90s basketball surpasses or falls short of the modern NBA. Now, whether or not you watch 90s basketball, we're going to explore all the topics that have been going viral, such as the 90s defense, the 90s offense, the dribbling and shooting, and crazy enough people say that Jordan has no left hand. Before diving into these discussions, it's essential to acknowledge the inherent difficulty in comparing the 90s to the present day due to many numerous factors. One big factor would be the rule changes in the different eras of basketball. The physical defensive style prevalent in the 90s contrasts sharply with the emphasis on long range shooting in today's NBA. Basketball evolves, plain and simple. In the 80s and 90s, shooting a high volume of three-pointers wasn't deemed crucial, but it is now a staple of nearly every single offense in the NBA. Similarly, dribbling techniques have evolved to fit around the newer rules with modern NBA players showcasing skills that might have penalized players in the past. It's not that legends like Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, or Larry Bird lacked talent and had no bag. Rather, they adapted their game to maximize the best of their potential with the rules they had in their era. Now, I do believe modern players are better than players of previous eras, but it is only because their skills evolve, defenses get smarter, and offenses just get more dominant. But here's some clips of 90s defense that most teams would play. Now, these are the lowlights, so obviously some of the best teams had the best defenses of all time. I'm not saying the defense was bad at all. I'm just saying a lot of teams didn't really have a good defensive plan, but obviously basketball evolves, so the 90s basketball's defense isn't going to be as evolved as now. It's just in a lot of these clips, it just seems like they're putting like my school principal on Michael Jordan. Like you're guarding the best player in the world. But if we compare this era of basketball's defense to nowadays era of basketball, the defense back then is way more harsh, but the defense now definitely is more coordinated and has more set plans for defense. Next, here's some clips of the 80s, 90s offense, and here's some highlights as well. Almost every single highlight back then was either a dunk or a layup, or some guys like Magic Johnson obviously had really good passing abilities, but majority of the scoring was just simple rim running layups that, I mean, any NBA player Giannis can do. I'm not trying to discredit 90s offense, but if you compare it to our offense nowadays era in the modern NBA, it's really just uncomparable. It's evident that there is significant disparity. With isolation plays and three-point shooting dominating contemporary basketball, while the defensive intensity of the past is unmatched though. Regarding the notion that Jordan lacked a left hand, let's debunk that myth with some clips showcasing his ambidextrous prowess. Here Jordan is backing down Hornacek and he gets the edge on him for a left hand layup. Jordan was really good with both hands but people overlook it a lot. The man could finish with both his left and right hands and he is regarded as one of the greatest finishers and obviously the greatest player, one of the greatest players of all time. All of these clips just show that Jordan can finish with his left hand. He could drive to the hoop, go left, go right, whatever it was, it was unpredictable because he was good with both hands. 
and I don't really know how this Jordan can't finish with his left hand started, to be honest. I mean, you would have to think that one of the greatest scorers of all time would obviously have a left hand. Basketball has undeniably evolved, with offense taking the center stage, while defensive strategies adapt to modern rules that really just discourage physicality. In fact, here's an all-time list for offensive rating. Every single team on this list has played in the last five years in the NBA. With the majority of the top spots being this year in the NBA with the Celtics, the Thunder, the Pacers, and then the bottom being some of the slower offenses in recent years with the Mavericks, the Nuggets, and the Bucks. And here's where Jordan's Bulls would rank. They don't even crack the top 27 of all time, which just shows that offense is adapting and changing through recent years. Now, basketball has evolved. Teams and players have gotten better and will obviously continue to get better. I bet 20 years from now, people will be arguing LeBron has no chance in their era of basketball. These types of statements are very false because the superstars of the 80s and the 90s would be able to at least compete in our era. Regardless, the next era of basketball will be way better than our era of basketball. But it will be easier to compare our era to their era than it is to something like the 90s or the 80s. And with technology advancing and the game evolving, I wonder what the NBA will look like in 20 years from now.